Hey, I'm James. Welcome back to Charlie Mike Woodworks and Design. Welcome to the shop if this is your first time. That rhymed. Okay, so what we're going to make today is an island top. We're going to use walnut. It's an inch and a half thick, which is what they call six quarters. Um, and each plank is going to be about three to four inches wide. Okay. Roughly the dimensions are 36 inches by 60 inches, and this is fairly straightforward. I'm just going to uh, plane everything uh, so that it's the same thickness and hopefully the same width of all the planks. Uh, they're all the same too. So we're going to see what we got and we're going to work with that and make it happen. So thank you for joining us and uh, let's Charlie Mike. Okay, so that's probably, that's going to be my board width right there. Ugh. So I'm looking at about four inches. All right. No worries. No worries at all. Four inches it is. I'm going to lose a little bit on some of the boards, but that's okay. Okay, so after doing a little bit of math, I came up with the following. My exact dimensions are 37 wide by 61 and a half long. I have to cut it to 60 and a half because I just don't have the length of each board. I have six boards total and I don't have the length required of each board to be able to hit the 61 and a half because it's just not there. <clears throat> I'm going to be cutting it really close, no pun intended, uh, on a couple of the boards to make sure that I get to 60 and a half and no less. But you can see that each board I can get, except for two, I can get um, essentially two lengths that I'm that I need. Okay, so. We had it 39 and a half, so I'll have a little bit of left over, which is exactly what I planned on. Um, it's always good to overestimate if you can, because you know you're going to have a little bit of underage. I don't even know if that's a, <laughs> that's a term, but it is at, it is at 435 in the morning. So we're going to have a little underage, and we're going to end up with 37 wide by 60 and a half long. Let's make this happen. Woodworking is like driving to work. It's inherently dangerous. So make sure you're always wearing protection and retire. So cutting off a little bit of the wood, squaring it up, ripping it. Now I had to do something different because these boards were so long. I actually had to use some wedges to keep the boards from binding up. To keep all the boards even throughout the gluing process, I decided to use dowels. And here we are, pounding some dowels into the wood. I had to glue this up in three sections, uh, three boards per section, uh, because the boards widths were about four inches each and my planer only has a 13 inch capacity so that was perfect and here i am using the probably the best planer in the entire world the dewalt and then here i am hand planing because hand planing is just one more way of ensuring that you have everything as level as possible here at Charlie Mike Woodworks and Design, our primary mission is to help those with PTSD or depression realize that there are safe alternatives uh, to self-harm or self-medication. Woodworking is one of those. So if you or someone you know has or suffers from PTSD or depression, tell them to check this channel out. 1304. Man, that's Jeez, that's like right, perfect right there, isn't it? And gluing up 
sections one and two or three and two, I cannot remember, but it was something like that. And then unclamping all three sections, which ended up being a little over 36 inches wide. Putting a round over on the top and the bottom because Mrs. Charlie Mike didn't want anything that looked manufactured, which was great because that tells me if I screw up, I can just call it rustic and not manufactured. And of course, no video of woodworking is complete without sanding. And there was a lot of sanding on this project. So light sanding, watch. Use a little bit of craft paper uh, for a tad bit of light sanding in between coats of shellac. It's not necessary, but it sure does make it better. Let's see if we can hear it now. Nope. And everybody's favorite, demo. Of course, that takes a second place to sanding but demolition and then taking off the top Good Lord. <clears throat> okay so we're underneath and you see what I did I have drilled or essentially slotted out several, let's see if I can get this to focus, slots for these, okay, to sit in. So you just essentially do that. And I've used these before and I love them, but do a little bit of tree drilling and then making sure that you have everything lined up. And it holds it tight. Okay, so we are done installing the new top. Let's look at it. Here once we'll just take a grout and country stone and wipe it down a little bit. I'll say it so that nobody else has to. This looks damn good. Charlie Mike.